General Hospital has released a statement after one of its stars, Tapiana Ali, addressed the shocking amount of racism she has endured on social media. General Hospital does not tolerate hatred or bigotry of any kind, according to the General Hospital statement posted on Instagram. Racism has no place in Port Charles. Online hate toward actors, especially those in general projects, is, sadly, nothing new in Hollywood. But a recent spate of attacks on General Hospital actress Tabiana Ali has demonstrated that even daytime soap stars are not immune from such trolling. Racist comments about Ali on social media prompted the actress to speak out on X about anyone that hates me. That's absolutely fine, she continued. I don't know you and you don't me, but regardless, I'm sending you peace, safety and prosperity. I also pray you touch some grass, see the sun, eat a delicious meal and find something to do. Ali, who has played Trina Robinson on the ABC Sudza since 2022, ended up posting multiple comments about the trolling she has endured. Deadline understands that ABC is engaging with Ali and her team on how to navigate the situation. There has been no official statement from the network or the soap, which was just named Outstanding Daytime Drama of Friday's Daytime Emmys. In the meantime, several of Ali's co-stars have come to her defence. Maura West, who plays Ava on General Hospital, wrote on X that I love you, Tabiana. I admire your strength and loving, open heart. You are a shining example of the best of humanity. Lydia looks Selena Wu said, love, you go sis. Show them what you're made of. Pure love, that's what. Nancy Lee Gran Alexis Davis addressed the haters directly. You hide behind a profile pics and spew hatred and racism at Tabiana. You spew it at every cast member of General Hospital, and we condemn and reject it. We stand by our friend and colleague in her dignified and gracious response. There's no place for racism of any kind in our beloved General Hospital community. Even Michelle Van Jean, who is penning CBS New Soap for Gates, wrote my question here is why would anyone hate you? On today's General Hospital recap, Carly is grateful to Jason and says she can never repay him for his sacrifice. Jason says there is no debt between them and he would do it again. He says she wouldn't have been in that position had it not been for him and Sonny. Jason says John is still a problem for Sonny because he's fixated and John has hated Sonny for a long time and finally has an opening. Jason says Sonny needs to let him back in so they can figure this out together. Carly is grateful Jason is home to help with the situation. Cody and Tracy question how and why James is at the stables. He's upset Mac told him he couldn't take lessons from Cody anymore. He says he climbed out a window and called a ride share from Georgie's phone. Maxie and Spinelli are angry when they come to pick him up. James complains he can't do riding lessons at the mansion anymore, but Maxie says they'll discuss it at home. Tracy gets back to the house to find Gio in the kitchen and joins him. She asks about his life back home, and the two discuss all things New York. Cody summons Sasha to let her know what happened. Cody says he loves James and feels it's his fault James is hurting. Sasha reassures him while Mac is still angry, Maxie is on Cody's side. She doesn't think Cody will be banished from James' life. At home, Maxie and Spinelli chastise James about leaving the house at night without telling anyone. James is upset no one is telling him the truth. Maxie says, Mac is upset about something and they need to be patient with him. Maxie talks to Spinelli about Cody being family even if they don't share DNA. She wants Mac to hurry up and forgive Cody. Jocelyn tells Trina she found her dove and when she gets upset, realizes it was a gift from Spencer. Trina is angry she's still grieving but Jocelyn says eventually it won't be so painful. Trina thanks her for being supportive and Jocelyn offers to listen whenever Trina needs it. Dante finds Laura sitting and talking to Lulu, so he joins her and the two makes small talk about her raising Ace. Dante says Lulu was always a great mom because she took after Laura. He thanks Laura for taking care of Rocco when he was shot. He feels Rocco doesn't visit Lulu enough, but it's hard for him to see his mother in that bed. Laura says is Rocco old enough now 
to make the decision on whether or not he wants to visit Lulu. Daytime audiences already know that Tabiana Ali is a talented actress, and very soon, they will get to see the star who plays General Hospital's trainer in an exciting new role. The actress excitedly shared the poster for her new movie, a body, positive, coming-of-age film called Empire Waste. The official poster drop. Ali declared on Instagram, showing off the key image for the movie. I can't wait for everyone to see this amazing film directed written by Claire Ayub, who I absolutely love and am honored to know. The movie stars Nia Kaplan as Lenore Miller, an overweight teen who loves to design clothes, but is too insecure to wear her own creations. Lenore's hidden talent is discovered by her confident, plus-sized classmate, Kayla Jamameyevu, and soon she's designing clothes for girls of all shapes and sizes. But as her friendship with Kayla and the other girls grows, will Lenore find the self, love she inspires in others? Rain Wilson and Nissy Pyle also star as Lenore's supportive father and image-conscious mother, and Ali appears in the film as Honor. Empire Waste, whose title is borrowed from a style of dress, won multiple awards at film festivals, including Best Social Impact Film and Best Empowerment Film at the Sedona International Film Festival in Arizona earlier this year. Deadline reports that in conjunction with the movie's theatrical release, Ayub and the other filmmakers will launch the Empire Waste Confidence Curriculum, a free resource on body image and self-confidence for tweens, teens, and adults to help them process feelings raised by the film's impactful message. I'm really grateful to be a part of this spectacular film. This was such a dream job. I wish I could go back in time and shoot this feature all over again, raved Ali. I can't wait for you to meet all of the lovable, inspiring, and talented cast characters. Empire Waste is slated for a theatrical release across the United States and Canada on Friday, September 27.